Thousands of soldiers suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder after they've been called to service. But more recently, these men and women are also facing a test of ethics when they return home. This idea, coined by the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, is known as moral injury, the challenges associated with the moral questions of war. These injuries can stem from a variety of both indirect and direct participation in war. As was the case for Timothy Kudo, a graduate student at New York University who served in Iraq and Afghanistan from 2009 to 2011. In an opinion article for the Washington Post, the veteran explains he now grapples with justifying killing, something he'd always been told was wrong until he went to war. Not a day goes by that Kudo doesn't think about his patrol's mistake back in Afghanistan in 2010. On that day, he and his patrol got in a firefight and ended up killing two in innocent men that the soldiers thought were going to attack them. For Kudo and many others, he argues, killing becomes second nature when you're at war, which makes it difficult for a soldier when returning home. When they come home from an environment where killing is not only accepted but is a metric of success, the transition to one where killing is wrong can be incomprehensible. A writer for The Guardian explains the moral dilemma resides with the fact that the only people who can forgive them are dead. He writes it's natural for soldiers to seek justification. An obvious source for justification, as well as inspiring many to join the military, is the notion of acting on the right side, being part of a broader effort to do some good. But try sustaining that narrative after tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. I couldn't. But Kudo argues the term moral injury fails to encompass all the pain associated with these conflicts, telling NPR. I think that the immorality of war is something that is real, is something that we shouldn't just get rid of and we shouldn't ignore, that these are real questions. And war is evil, and yet sometimes it is necessary. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs says it's important to note that killing does not always result in moral injury. However, it can lead to anger and self-harming behavior. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima. Multiple sources, a broader view.